The best date I've ever been on was definitely when I went to New York and I met this um, this girl over there and we just cruised the streets and chatted about life, got to know each other. But I lost her, she went away. Now I'm heartbroken forever. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I'm Diego Tinoco here with 17 to answer 17 questions. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to 17's YouTube channel. All right, let's do this. Maybe that I believe that the earth is flat, because it is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hell no. I'm not sure. I mean, I feel like nowadays with social media and everything, everybody knows everything about you. All they have to do is Google you and uh, watch an interview that Seventeen Magazine did or something. The best date I've ever been on was definitely when I went to New York and I met this, um, this girl over there and we just cruised the streets and chatted about life, got to know each other. And uh, it was just, it was really fun. I think I was 18 at the time, or 19, so it was just crazy. It's like a little romantic movie, you know? You know what I mean? But I lost her, she went away. Now I'm heartbroken forever. <laughs> no, probably not. Um, I don't think that's right. But then again, I'm a fan of a lot of people, so never say never, I guess. No, I'm not in the relationship right now. I uh, plan on being single for a very long time till I'm at least 109 years old. And until then, just work on my, my career, hang out with my family, my friends, hang out with my beautiful mama, my beautiful best friends, my beautiful family, and uh, yeah, not date anybody, ever. Ana de Armas, she is one of the most talented, one of the most beautiful actresses in Hollywood, and I would say she's my celebrity crush, but more so, I wanna work with her. She's phenomenal, she's an amazing actress. How old was I? I was like 18 when I first started working on the show, and I went out with Brett, and Brett like, for some reason we took off our shirts and we were at a club and this girl was like, flex, flex. And I was like, all right, Brett, let's take off our shirts and flex. It was a weird moment. And uh, I, Brett promised me he'd never release that photo, but he did. So shout out to Brett. I hate you. No, I'm kidding, I love you, man. I, w I would tell my 17 year old self to be patient, to, Pay attention to the life happening in front of you, learn from it, and just trust the process. And just know that everything that's meant to happen will happen, and to just try your best, because at the end, that's all you can do. Just try your best, give your heart out, and uh, work hard and work smart. Anything to do with children, and uh, maybe like children's hospital. Growing up, I was I had a lot of medical problems, so I definitely, empathize with kids who are going through all of that stuff and definitely want to make my own organization down the line and uh, contribute to that. Oh, the weirdest thing about being famous. Well, we have these weekly meetings with the Illuminati and the Freemasons and all of that and we plan on which type of uh, tree we're gonna cut down and make extinct and... Uh, no, I, I don't know. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I was starstruck when I met Brad Pitt. I was a judge at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, and it was just crazy seeing your idol, you know, this person that you grew up watching. And uh, I snuck past like his 10 security guards, shook his hand, introduced myself, uh, had a cool conversation with him, and yeah, it was, uh, that was definitely one for the books. <laughs> secret talent that nobody knows about. I was trying to be a professional skateboarder before I started acting, so I guess I was kind of good at that. So, skateboarding. He gets to kiss a lot of pretty girls. It's always nice. I, I wish he wouldn't give in so easily to his brother's requests. 
and uh, I wish he would stand his ground a little, a little better and not give in to whatever his brother wants. <laughs> I don't plan to kiss on the first day. I don't wanna, like that's not my mission. My mission on the first day is just to have a good time, get to know the other person and just share ideas and have a great conversation. I don't know, like a late night adventure or something. But um, I mean, if she kisses me, I'm gonna kiss back. Five years, I see myself growing, learning, studying, getting better. Same as always. It's not really about the destination. It's about, you know, the journey. It's about the process, you know. Get that through your thick skull. No, um, I don't know, just, just keep going. Last show I binged was Narcos Mexico. I loved it because it's just shot beautifully. Uh, cinematography is beautiful. The cast is a stellar cast. Everybody can give one hell of a performance. And, uh, yeah, and I'm Mexican, so I gotta support. I can't say much because I don't know if we are going to get a season four, but I can tell you that if we do, it's gonna be the best one yet. I have to shave my head again, which, you know, but, uh, but yeah, it'll be the, it'll be the best one yet, I think, for sure. So, bye guys.